know, like you guys, like, you know, I grew up listening to a lot of hip-hop, too, and, you know, a lot of different songs and stuff like that. And, you know, I'm not going to say I completely, I don't listen to hip-hop anymore, but, you know, I'm aware of what I'm listening to at the same time. But I find myself sometimes, different times of the day, and a song will be stuck in my head, and I think about it, like, well, why am I even saying this right now, you know, in the sense that, you know, music is strong, you know, and music, you know, no matter how you try to deny it, music is strong. And at the same time, man, when you talking about some of these videos like the camera, Rowan, and all of this stuff, you know, for, I think for a lot of guys, you know, a lot of guys probably want to admit it, but self-consciously, you try to emulate that. And you see a woman, you know, the way how, this, how these artists are portraying a woman, you know, in the same sense. So, you know, when I'm sitting down with my friends, my friends and a bunch of guys, and they're talking sexually about women and stuff like that, you know, at the same time, I'm like, you know, this is basically like a music video that I'm watching or, you know, just listening to my boys talk or listening to other people around me talk. You know, at the same time, I'm like, you know, I'm not going to lie and be like, man, I never used to be part of the conversation, you know, but I'm like, you know, now I'm trying to be at a different place, you know, within myself. And then if I know I'm listening to this song, I'm like, what good is it doing me in trying to say I want to be a better person or have a better relationship with God when I'm listening to this, you know, at the same time, you know, is it creating some type of impact on me, you know, as a person. And, you know, if you listen to, you know, for a lot of guys, you know, a lot of my friends or a lot of other guys that I know, you know, like, you know, the things they say or some of the letters from songs that they're repeating or, you know, when that certain camera song comes on, you know, that part everybody wants to sing, you know, at the same time, and at the same time you're watching girls in the same area, you know, singing those same lyrics. And I'm like, you know, at the end of the day, if a guy would just walk up to you in the street and say, blank, 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 you would stop them, you know, but at the same time, I feel okay for you to be, you know, at a party or something like that, and they're saying that, or all of y'all got your hands up at the same time, but a guy can't walk up to you and just point blank and say it, you know, so at the same time, you know, as a guy, you know, I'm not even going to lie, you know, as a guy, sometimes that when I've been to parties, you know, the way certain girls carry themselves in parties, you know, it totally skews my perception, you know, of certain people, and I would be like, you know, okay, I definitely will see this girl in a certain way or, you know, or, you know, just for guys, like, you know, guys talk. So, you know, when guys are talking, you know, you're acting a certain way at a party and you're letting, you're letting a certain song get to you in a certain way, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you may, you may come back and be like, oh, you know, it's all good, you know, um, you know, I'm still this person, I still know who I am, at the end of the night I ain't going to sleep with anybody or do this or do that, but at the end of the day, you know, like you said, you know, Guys imagine this, you know, in the back of their mind, the song is saying this and this and this, and I'm dancing with you, that's what I'm thinking of, you know, at the same time. So, you know, I feel like, for me, the music, you know, is definitely something where I've become more cautious of and what I'm listening to. I love listening to gospel music, music is not the only thing I listen to, you know, I listen to other songs too, but what message is it portraying in my walk with God, my relationship with God, and how is it helping me? I think we're all influenced by everything that just happens, whether it be music, whether it be television. But at the end of the day, I don't think it really matters. You know, your walk with God, as long as you know your walk with God and your relationship with Him. I can't, I'm not going to tell you to do whatever you want, but it's important to know for yourself what your relationship is like with Him. I can go to a party and have a good time, but at the end of the day, I know who I serve. Now, is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? I don't know. We're in college. We don't want to have fun. We don't want to be locked up in our room listening to gospel, reading the Bible, and doing our homework. I think there has to be a, a balance. And you have to know yourself enough to do those fun things because then you'll be straying away, straying away and you'll forget who you are and you'll forget who you serve. Mm -hmm. I wish you learned from this watching me. It's been a big one for you this watching me, God is watching me. And you don't come up and pick up him. I can look at you and say, oh, you're a good person. You like to tell your mind. You never steal my money. You know, but God knows who you are. And God is not respect of you. He can't uh, sacrifice like you don't understand. You can't do anything about it. You can't make a minute out of your life. You can't. Only he can. So when you say, like, what's so bad about saying you're in the room of life? Everybody makes you seem so dreadful. <laughs> you know, what is life? What is life? Why are we in this world? Did we make ourselves? No. Or did God make us to serve him? But then you also have to 
First off, let's break it down. Christian, Christ being Christ like just that. I can look it up and give you the definition if you guys think it sounds like if you read stories in the Bible, um, God I mean if you read stories about Jesus, um, you know, there's certain you know, you see portraits of Jesus smiling and having fun and there's stories in the Bible of Jesus at wedding enjoying himself. I'll think, you know, I'll think, you know, obviously Jesus, Jesus came on the earth to serve a purpose, but at the same time, you know, I don't think every stake and moment of his life was there, you know, on his knees praying and doing this and this. At the same time, he came in human form. I felt like he came in a human form to be able to understand us better and to know what some of the things, for God knows some of the things that we actually go through to understand us in that way. And there's so many, you know, instances in the Bible where, um, you know, like I said, you know, Jesus has fun, you know, like we said, Christian is Christ-like, and, you know, I feel like for every person, you know what you struggle with as a person. You know, you know what your trials and your tribulations are, you know what your downfalls are, you know what you're weak at, you know, you know what makes you weak. And I remember I was having a conversation with you, uh, you know, back about, like, body you know, and I was like, you know, within myself, I know um, certain parties, I go to a club, you know, for me, you know, I know I'm not just going to be standing there, I'm going to dance with somebody. So, but I know, so I'm not going to put myself in a situation where I'm going to a club if I know I'm not going to be acting Christ-like, you know, is a, is a process for me to be able to, like, be able to get to a point. I know, I know Christian people who are able to go to, like, ASA night, Hasha night, 
where if, if something if some song comes on or something like that, they even contain themselves. They're able to, you know, they're able to either sit down, they're able to just stand there or something like that. But, you know, other people are able to do the same thing. And you know within yourself what you're weak at. You know what, you know, what's going to make your relationship with God stronger at the same time. So I feel like it's always consciously in the back of your mind telling you, if you have to think, if you have to second guess it, what's likely is wrong. And if you just go ahead and you, and you do it and you feel secure within yourself that, you know, within your relationship, you know, with God, this is what you have to do to get right with God. By all means, do what you have to do to get right with God. But I know for me, you know, there's certain situations that I've been in that I'm like, I'm not going to put myself in right now because I know I'm going to be vulnerable to going back to the things that I used to do at the same time. And, and just being real with yourself, I feel like a lot of the times we're not real with ourselves. And we